Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be solving this question which states that if G is given to be some group and A is some element of this group G, then we have to prove that the centralizer of the element A would be equal to the centralizer of the element A inverse. So let's solve this one here. For the solution, we first of all uh, prove that to prove that the centralizer of A is contained in the centralizer of A inverse, right? For that, we assume some element G belongs to the centralizer of A. If that is the case, by definition, by definition, this G would commute with A. So we would have G A is equals to A G. Now here what we can do, we can pre and post multiply both sides with A inverse, right? We can do that. We can post and pre-multiply with A inverse on both sides. So that what do we have? We have A inverse G A A inverse. This is equals to A inverse A G A inverse, right? So here you see A inverse G is as such. This A and A inverse becomes E. And similarly here A inverse A becomes E G A inverse. So this would just give you A inverse G is equals to G A inverse. So this shows G commutes with right g commutes with a inverse so what does it mean it means that g now belongs to the centralizer of a inverse so what does it mean we it, this implies that the centralizer of a because initially g was an element of the centralizer of a this is contained in the centralizer of a inverse let's mark this as equation number one for the second part, we wanted to prove the opposite. So we will prove that the centralizer of A inverse is contained in the centralizer of A. So here we assume some element G to, uh, which is present in the centralizer of A inverse. So by definition, what do, does it imply? It implies that uh, G would commute with A inverse. So we would have G A inverse is equals to A inverse G. So what we can do now, we can pre and post multiply both sides with the element A, right? So we can uh, multiply it with a so that we would have a g a inverse a is equals to a a inverse g a now here a g a inverse a becomes e and here also a a inverse becomes e right and identity into some element is that same element so from here you see that this implies g commutes with a right if g commutes with a so this implies that G belongs to the centralizer of the element A. So what does it mean? It means that G initially was taken from C uh, centralizer of A inverse has now been present in the centralizer of A. Hence the centralizer of A inverse is a subset of centralizer of A. Let's mark this as equation 2. So from the equation 1 and from the equation 2, we can clearly say C A inverse, the centralizer of A inverse is exactly equal to the centralizer of A. And this is what we wanted to prove here. So I hope you understood this question well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.